Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Today on Customer States What? Well, Lando's back at it again. What we're doing before the car show, we're going to buff out these headlights a little bit. As we could see, we got some haze going. Yeah, there we go. We could see it. Now over here, we could see a little bit of haze happening right here as well. So what we have to do now is we have to remove the headlight guards and we also have to remove this headlight guard. What I'm going to figure out is also these screws are starting to rust. So what we're going to do is we're probably, well obviously we have to remove them, but we're probably going to scuff them up and put some paint on them. We got one, two, three, four. Oh, these look actually pretty good. But still, they'd look even better if they were black or flat black to match all the flat black here. So we got to remove those first. Then we have to remove the grill and then we could access the one screw that's behind here. Excuse me, right behind here. It's all the way in there. We got this guy here and this guy here and then we'll be able to get the whole headlight out or at least gain access to the connector and then get the headlight out. The product that we're using, well, it's an old kit. We used the BG kit last time on Lexor, so on Lando, we're using the mother's new lens kit with the ball. Very good. Well, let's get into this. We got the grill out. We got both headlight guards. So now we need an external Torx to get these guys out. And then we open up this little door right here to expose the Phillips screw that's that was hidden behind everything. And that's on both sides. All right, let's get the headlights out. All right, we already unplugged it, so. So now that we have the headlight out, what I do first is I got some glass cleaner, sprayed it, gave it a quick clean, quick wipe down to assess the headlight. So we could see that we do have a little bit of condensation on the inside right here. There's a little bit right there, but what we're trying to do is, if we could see it, is get this little bit of yellowing out from here and clean up the overall look of the lens. Condensation here is going to be a little harder to get out. I really don't want to take the lenses out and then go in there with something, but simple as compressed air, take one of the things out, one of the plugs for the lights, spray some compressed air, and that should get rid of the fog temporarily. All right, we have the drill set up. We have the mother's ball set up. We have the compound that the kit came with on there. And honestly, I'm just gonna dab it on here. Just a little bit. Oh, I just made a mess. I had it on speed too. Awesome. All right, take two, now that the drill is on speed one. You just do it really slowly. Go through your motions. So I'm going to put you guys down now, and I'm going to continue. We'll see how we can get this headlight to look. Well, all right, ladies and gentlemen, we're back at it. It's another day after work, and it's before the car show. We have one headlight, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, fully polished out. As we can see, this one here, we did not polish. If we look up close, you could see the yellow haze. And if we look up close with this one, all we could see is nice crystal clear lens which you know me that's very good so now what we got to do is we got to take this guy off this trim piece off the headlight we're going to clean it with some glass cleaner and then we're going to give it the polish very good all right so all we're going to do here is just give it a spritz got to get all that pollen off that's over down here so we have a little plastic brush here and we're just going to work that dirt out of there. This is all covered by that orange trim piece that's right over there. So we just want to get as much of this dirt out as possible. 
then we're gonna wipe it clean oh it's really caked on right here all right we'll probably spray a little bit more and keep working it very good ladies and gentlemen we've cleaned up this whole area down here and now we're probably going to put that shrimp piece back on because these little guys right here these little fins are very sharp and they're going to absolutely destroy that mother's ball if i leave that trim piece off so we have our lens clean i have no idea how that water just got into this lens it was not in there before so it may have gotten in through up there i don't know but we're going to get the mother's ball out and we're going to get some polish and action going very good Alright guys, so we're done polishing the passenger side headlight and as we could see we did a good job on the outside of the lens. Before we get into the passenger side, let's look at the driver's side because we know that this is a good headlight. We know for a fact that the polishing did very well. We could see through the clear plastic and we could see the black portion of the lens very clear, which is very good. We got all the yellowing out on the top. We got the hazing out. Now that we have looked at a known good headlight, let's look at a so-so headlight. So we completed the polishing. We got all the yellow hazing out on top. That it was on the outside. But if you guys can see the cloudiness that is right here and right here, and right up here yeah there we go you see it that is on the inside of the lens so that's pretty much all i can do with the outside of the lens to these here headlights now what i could do is since it's mainly right here and it's right here too so it's going to be difficult i could take that headlight bulb out get a large q-tip or get a wire hanger with some cloth on the edge of it and start to clean this out now I know that's the hard way and these are sealed beams I might be able to take them apart but I don't have another set so if I break them that's all gugats I, I can't put them in so if you guys know how to clean the inside of a plastic lens the easy way let me know in the comments please because all I really know is like take the take the bulb out get in there and try and clean as much as you can blow compressed air to get that water out I don't even know how it didn't even freaking rain today I don't know how that water got in there so this sealed beam or this sealed lens is no longer sealed and if we look at the back it's not cracked anywhere I have all my covers and I know all the o-rings are good to the covers and I grease them just a little bit so they are extra sealed yeah yeah look 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 look, look even more where the hell where the hell did this water just come from I'm gonna ha I don't know and I didn't even spray that much glass cleaner on this for that to get into the inside all right so well as for the mother's plastic for lights plastic polish and the mother's ball if you have some yellow headlights with the yellow haze it'll do the job 
But if you have like those Grand Cherokee headlights from like the early 2000s with all that goo guts on the lens, you're going to need a, a whole lot of sanding and then wet sanding and then you can move on to the polishing. Now that we have the headlights reinstalled, all polished, we reinstalled the grill. We reinstalled the other headlight. Now what we did to the hardware for the headlight guards, I used a little bit of leftover touch-up paint that I had. And uh, before I did that, I gave them a good scuffing. I gave them about, I, think, I believe, two coats of paint. We're going to also install a little bit of NICs on these threads here because it is technically outside of the vehicle. So, very good. Let's install the covers. Hey, this headlight looks so much better after the refinish. It really does. So now I did start to clean the engine bay. As we could see here, this channel is pretty much clean. I cleaned half of the hood as we could see and I can't believe there's actually a reflection so we're gonna continue to clean the entire engine bay probably tomorrow but let's let's get a little deeper into it and look around you can actually see paint orange paint down here and over here and believe it or not in the cowl area over here so Remember how I said I only did half. I did this here. I believe I did here and I did this whole tray over here. I didn't do here. Definitely didn't clean that. And look how dirty this is. That's how the other side looked. And you could even see how dirty this trim is. And you could see how clean the trim is over there. So the goal is to get this engine bay pretty presentable for the car show. And also we had to do it. I only, I nursed that battery back to health as much as I could, but we had to bite the bullet today and get a brand new battery. So we're not gonna get left stranded with a slow crank or no crank, no start. Brand new battery. We're gonna continue to clean this entire engine bay. We're going to have to give the vehicle a really good detail before the car show. Alright, things are looking pretty good. If you guys don't know what to do yet, please like, subscribe, hit that bell notification for further content.